Alright, welcome back everybody. In our last episode we had just conquered Byzantium and Rhodes. We are also going through a plague in Thessalonica. So in this next episode I think we're going to expand into Asia further. We're going to try to take Pergamum. We may go up against Pontic, but I'm not sure yet. I also am thinking about going after Segestica over here because it seems like there's a lot of valuable trade resources. Like we have gold mines and iron and looks like wine. So uh, if the Juli don't get there first, I'd like to take Segestica. Over in the west, as we can see, it looks like uh, Scipii is going to take is uh, fighting with Carthage over here. We're not going to be stopping them. I don't think we will have time to go in and take Carthage. I was kind of hoping for a bigger civil war, so it looks like I'm going to get one um, with a powerful Scipio. And it looks like the Julia are doing quite well. I think one thing I was thinking of doing here is because uh, Thessalonica has this uh, temple of... Artemis, which gives the plus two missile weapons upgrade. I'm actually not going to build the communal farming. Even though our population is currently on the decline because of the plague, I think the plague is going to end pretty soon uh, in a couple of turns, I guess. And I want to get the practice range so we can start eventually get up to archers here in Thessalonica. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. We've got some rebels over here. I'm not going to touch these rebels because of the plague. Uh, I don't want to get my units plagued and these guys I don't want to move them out either I'm not gonna retrain these guys until after the plague is gone I don't really need to be blockading Pergamum I think I need to get my troops on board as soon as possible so let's go ahead and do that I'm gonna send my spy and my agent my di diplomat as well let's get him on board let's get my spy on board let's have him step out of the city First, send these three Velites into the city. And then we're going to do a low tax rate and see if that's okay. Okay, good. I'm not going to build the ship anymore. I'm going to go ahead and build peasants. Alright, let's get him on the boat. And uh, see if I can get close and disembark my agents. We got my spy, who only has a 30 five percent chance to spy on the capital so I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna spy on this guy instead just to try to get him more experience that didn't work but it's fine all right let's get our diplomat out and he's gonna head over to Pontus and try to get a trade deal and maps with Pontus I'm gonna leave my army out you know, try to sneak them out and attack this group over here, maybe. And we also have this army here, which I need to retrain these guys. They, I would like to this city to grow, so maybe I will go low. I have 35,000 denarii, so I have a lot of money. And we'll get this fleet over here to eventually transport the troops. I'll add this uh, guy to them. And, uh... Yeah, it looks like there's no really rival navies anyone near us. Um, so we got these two guys that were the exotic units. Uh, I'd like to get them over here f to help out Titus Brutus. So I'm going to get another ship over here. I might as well just retrain those guys. Let's get another trireme over here and they'll escort them. Hopefully no pirates spawn in the next turn. So I'd like to take Titus Brutus and go on and conquer Segestica. Hopefully the Julii or Dacia doesn't get it first. I think I'm going to go for these Illyrian mercenaries. They seem pretty decent. Um, they got 8 melee and 10 missile attack. Not great defense though, but the only 130 upkeep and the recruitment keeps 650. We have a lot of money, so I'm going to go ahead and get these. And I'm just going to do one at a time though. Trying to get the mercenary ca captain, I did not. All right, and then we'll get those hoplites over there next turn. I think I want to try to get some trade relations, so I'm going to build another diplomat here in Blyzora. 
Oh, interesting. It looks like uh, Greece is besieging Sardis. So that would be nice if they could win this because I would like to be able to take more territories before going to war with someone else. All right, let's go ahead and end my turn. Ooh, they have an assassin. I'll have to be careful with that. Oh, interesting. We got a trade mission with uh, Dacia. That would be... That's going to be easy because we're right there with the diplomat. Cool. Oh, looks like we've got a new general, Nias Brutus. And he is in Tarentum. And let's see. He despises the Carthaginians. He is sharp. He's not a great builder and increases squalor. He is untruthful, which gives him added influence. Nice. I kind of want a governor for Croton. Still no uh, offices assigned. This is uh, unfortunate. Um, I think our standing with the Senate is pretty good. Yeah, we're actually doing the best with the Senate, but unfortunately no offices so that's too bad okay we still got the plague going on in Thessalonica um, but it should pass eventually and hopefully it doesn't spread so let's go ahead and complete this mission alright we want trade rights and map information nice that was an easy mission. And we got 5,000 denarii for that. Cool. Let's just get this guy on the move. It'll take him a while to catch up with uh, Titus Brutus. And I still don't see any pirates, so I think we'll be okay. So it looks like we have two sets of rebels. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to send Titus Brutus some archers, war dogs, and a Hastati to deal with this group. And they probably will flee. I'm going to give him another Equites. Because this is just one guy. So, so, so basically I want to try to deal with these rebels all in one turn. Let's go ahead and do this battle real quick. All right, looks like they're over here on this hill. Let's get my archers here firing. Inf uh, infantry protecting, get the war dogs over here. And then we'll just send my cavalry on a flanking maneuver this way. Looks like they're charging us with their ill Illyrian mercenaries. We'll go ahead and send our war dogs after them. We'll get our cavalry charging them. Hurry up. We're going to have a little bit of a fight here. I was hoping to avoid that. And I hope my war dogs don't kill my Hastati. I don't know if war dogs do friendly fire or not. Alright. Took care of these guys pretty quickly have them halt and my archers are firing at their hoplites let's get my cavalry around here real quickly and hit these guys from behind these guys should be firing at the hoplites and have my infantry over here like this double time oh my war dogs are running oh I didn't notice they uh, I charged them right into their hoplites whoops alright let's get behind them let my archers uh, get some experience by just shooting at these guys although we are sh firing shield side so the damage is not going to be super great.
Maybe I can get these guys to turn around though with my cavalry. And then we'll be able to hit them in the back with our archers. No, they don't seem to want to turn around. They're not too concerned about my... Here we go. They're kind of moving a little bit. Still on the shield side because they're going after my Hastati. Well, let's go like this. And we'll eventually have my archers halt for the cavalry charge takes it place. Alright, we'll have them halt, cease fire, cavalry, charge. Infantry charge. You won't be you won't hit those spears. They'll give up before you hit the spears. Alright, pretty easy victory. We lost 22 guys. I think a lot of those are gonna be my war dogs. Oh no. We lost eleven Hastati and just nine war dogs. Alright, now it's Captain uh, Opius. Alright, what do they got? Just some um, Illyrian mercenaries. Well, we got those too, but way more of them. Alright, a massive victory for Captain Opius. 161 kills, no deaths. Oh, very nice. We've got a man of the hour. Captain Opius with plus two command, and he's only 20 years old. Yes, let's get him. So now we have two generals over here. Let's go ahead and combine them. Well, get them close together. Okay, when looking at this, so, so looks like they now got a general here in their... Greek army and this one only has one guy and it's the it's uh, Pontus's faction leader interesting I'm gonna not attack Pergamum because this is their last settlement so I'm gonna give them a chance and see if they could take this settlement it'll surrender in two turns they do have a little bit of armies over here but not I don't think it's enough really to take out this although it's not the most powerful army but he could take this the faction leader next turn so I'm gonna go ahead and have my agent sneak into their capital Searching for clues. all right wow 12,000 people here in Pergamum it's a pretty big city so I'm gonna go ahead and do a trade deal with Pontus very nice we got a new trading partner and I'm not gonna land my troops just yet so let's go ahead and send this group and I will recruit a peasant over here keep him at low tax rate keep this city growing since I can't really build anything here yeah and get this army sailing off I'm uh, keeping a small army in Corinth just to uh, for defensive purposes because it's kind of a center point and the center point for my military so um, I can send out troops wherever is needed so I'm gonna keep a small garrison in Corinth. Athens definitely needs crop rotation. Get, although man, I, we have a really good population growth in Athens. Uh, I think I'll just get mines for money. I'm gonna get roads in Byzantium, and I think I will get some Hastati because eventually. I want to march out and take on these rebels over here as soon as the plague is done at Thessalonica. Although, I might send this army towards that way. Maybe I'll send them towards Larissa. I don't want to get into Th Thessalonica just yet, but maybe in two turns the plague will be done. And then they can move out. 
and take on those rebels. Okay, and with that, I'm just going to go ahead and end my turn. Alright, it looks like they lost the Battle of Sardis. So my plans of taking Sardis without going to war with Pontus have failed. I think I'm going to have to go to war with Pontus. Interesting, games have been held at Croton. But I don't even have an... I don't have a theater here. I don't even have a, an amphitheater. Interesting. I don't know how that happened. Oh, okay. The Senate is throwing the games in our honor at the Senate's expenses. Nice. Alright, so looks like the plague is just about over. In fact, the plague icon has disappeared off the city, but Galeris still has the plague icon. Well, let's go ahead and get my troops right on the border and then we'll deal with these guys uh, I think I can I'm gonna go and merge my peasants and our population growth is back up to 7% let's get a principes I think let's see what I'm gonna need to look at this army three equites yeah that should be fine enough to deal with these rebels Alright, Byzantium. I think I will get mines. Just keep the money flowing. I'm going to move this army out over here. Yes, and I want to move this direction. Attack from the north. See what we got here. Another hoplites. Um, I'd like uh, another archer, but uh, I think this will do. Yeah, let's go and get another hoplites. And okay, we've got open gates. Our spy did his job. We've got the faction heir and the faction leader. A few hoplites and some archers and missile guys, but uh, let's go ahead and fight this one. 15 to 4 odds. There stand the Greeks, ready to fight or die. Today, I think we should send as many of them as possible to Hades. This is their last city, their last rat hole to hide in. Let them cower behind their walls, but it will do them no good. We have not come this far to turn back now. Harden your hearts. Put them all to the sword. This is our moment of triumph. They think their walls are enough to stop us. They should think again. We outnumber them by a large margin, but this may drive them to foolhardy defiance. Be careful. The enemy will try to conserve their strength by firing at us. We must close and fight them hand to hand, like true men. I have never lost a battle against these people. Why should I start losing now with men such as you at my command? Another victory is at hand. The hair has been gutted, and the liver was as clear as day. Portents such as this can only be considered good. Now, set your minds on the task to come. Strike hard! Strike without mercy! Alright, let's go. Alright, again I've got my guys in two groups. We're going to go ahead... We'll send our Cretan archers to attack. We'll have our Velites line up. And just get our infantry right behind him as well. Let's deal with this side next. Get our archers firing and our infantry up there protecting them. And we'll just soften them a bit, especially because we've got hoplites. So we want to weaken the hoplites before charging in. Alright, looks like they are retreating or just backing off. I wonder if I can send some equites over here like this. And then let's see what we got over here. 
they're not doing that over here. Okay. So they're just standing firm. Let's keep an eye on our guys. Let's get our hoplites to engage. And the rest of our infantry. Our soldiers have captured the walls. In the walls as now well. Is the time to press on and capture this place. And come on, cavalry, get out of the way. Get out of the way. And I'm going to send my valetes to start harassing them too. Get out of the way. Come on, guys, hurry up before they manage to form up. going on over here nothing they're just protecting this gate pretty well I don't I don't want to charge in we'll just hold up right there maybe we send these guys after them yeah let's do that let's send our hoplites to engage them Oh, 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 what do we got over here? What do we got over here? Hurry, hurry, hurry. They are... routing. Let's go. Let's get our general in here. And... Yeah, these guys are backing off. Let's get everybody here to just charge them. And we'll be able to Let's get them out of the hoplite formation. I don't know what these guys are doing. Uh, what happened over here? Looks like we just attacked them. Interesting. But I want to keep an eye on these guys over here. Alright. Yeah, let's charge. Yeah, they're, they're fleeing. Good. And what do we got over here? Let's get our missile guys. Charge in. Let's get these guys. Hurry up. We do have a lot of general's bodyguards. We got their faction air and their uh, these guys all fire will and their faction leader. So we have to be concerned with them. All right, everybody, just charge at this point. Kind of crazy and chaotic, but oh, that's their missile cavalry <laughs> against our velites. Let's get our general over here if I can, so he can rally anybody that needs it. Looks like we're stuck in this corner, which I don't like. And our velites might flee, which is not good. Where's our general? He's just getting through the gates. It's just a massive massive uh, cluster here it's like uh, we are in the lead in far as the kill ratio goes all right good 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 let's get everybody to attack this group over here except for the general just want him over here if you can I want to try to get my guys, you know, not to be bottlenecked in this corner here. These guys are just going around in circles. Where's my general? I want him lined up over here. Just, I don't want him to get killed. I hope he's not out in the thick of it over here.
Okay, 45% of the enemies are killed. Okay, General, just get out of here, okay? I want the General to get out of this. I do not want to lose my General. He is my best General. And I don't want to lose him. But the rest of you guys, just get in here. Take on their faction leader. Yeah, we are stuck in here. Okay, we've got a Velite's routed. Yeah, this is going to be a mess. We're going to start losing more higher percentage guys soon. Okay, we killed their general. Alright. That's good. Let's try to get some guys flanking. I don't know if that's going to work. Yeah, like these guys are supposed to be flanking and yet they're just charging. Alright, everybody just charge in. Except my general, I'll go after the archers. And we still got a better kill ratio. But we got more guys routed. A lot of guys are routing. These guys are wavering, but they're still standing firm. Oh boy, look at my uh, cavalry all routed here. Don't die, General. There's only 41 left. These are just archers. We should be able to take them. These guys, man, it always makes me nervous having my general in the field. Uh, but he's just fighting archers right now. Okay, there's, there he is. He's not really surrounded or anything like that. These guys are wavering, but they'll probably fight to the death. Just get him out of there. Ah, finally, Enemy good. Arm. I don't know why, but I just had a really bad feeling that my general was going to get killed. Uh, but it didn't happen. We did have a lot of guys route. We lost a lot. Uh, 727, so we lost almost as many as they did. Not a really great victory. Uh, I should have looked at the city a little bit better, because everyone was kind of converged on this corner, and that kind of gave them an edge. I should have had them come from the other gate on this side, uh, on the the west side instead, but um, I guess I chose the wrong side. Alright, let's go ahead and enslave the population. And now we have made a rebel general out of this guy. And our army is hurting. I wonder what happens to their assassin. Um, I don't think rebels can have assassins, so... Your Honor. I wonder if we could get another general from this guy. Um, let's send out our spy. Take a look at him. See if he's worth it. Uh, I wonder why he has two influence, but yet no traits. 26 years old. I wonder if we could bribe him. How much that would cost. Alright. 37,000. Ah, uh, no. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Uh, you would be easily defeated. For sure. We don't have good cavalry here. And what do they have in terms of shrines? Just Athena. Which is happiness in law. We'll keep it for a few turns. Um... I want to get Rhodes first. 
There's a lot I want to build here. Uh, still 6,000 people in this settlement. Pretty big. Even, and look at the population growth. 9% with low taxes and 7.5%. So this town is going to grow back. Uh, I don't even think I need to get farms here. And we've defeated another rival, the Greeks. They are gone. Gone from history. Alright, let's get these armies on the move. And we'll head out to Segestica. It'll take us a couple more turns to get there, and I'm going to drop off these guys to join. Alright, Kydonia. I think I'm just going to get farms. Okay, so my other army over here, I'm just going to park them over here in roads. And... Um... Just have them sit here for now. Uh, I will eventually move into here and take more cities in Asia. Uh, for now, I definitely need more Equites. This army... I use up my Equites pretty fast. Uh, because I use, do a lot of cavalry battles. Um, I, could, I have three archers. Three Cretan archers, so... I'm good on archers. I don't know where to park this fleet. So I've got a fleet. Let's just leave these guys at Pergamum. And I want to give it some time to just retrain these guys. And um, build up this army a little bit. I want to see if there's any mercenaries. No mercenaries. So, yeah. That's going to be planned. Just sit back a little bit. I've been expanding pretty fast. Uh, we will get this guy, Oppius, over here to Segestica. Alright, and with that, I'm just going to go ahead and end my turn. Alright, looks like Tarentum can expand. We'll go ahead and get the Pro Consul's Palace. Uh, Crotown might take a little bit longer to expand, but we've got plenty to build over here. So let's go ahead. Alright, we'll go ahead and take care of these rebels over here. We'll merge up this army. I think this should be good enough for these rebels. We're about evenly matched. We'll get an Illyrian mercenary. Sure, why not? And yeah, oh yeah, definitely pretty weak army so we didn't even need that Illyrian mercenary but that's fine alright we can get a lot in here we'll go back to high tax rates uh, we'll get the archery range because yeah I want to build archers here because they get the bonus to the missile attack alright I think I'm gonna go ahead and deal with these rebels um, I don't need so many guys. Let's just leave a few here. And... Attack! So what are we... Very high tax rate. Let's try for normal tax rate. Sir. Sending some more guys back. Let's just get Sir. some Hastati back. General, the there. That should be good enough. Go ahead and attack Captain Nestor. And they're bringing their reinforcements. So it's probably... We have a slight edge in numbers. But we should be able to take care of them. They do have the missile cavalry to watch out for. We're kind of short on cavalry ourselves. So we'll see. We'll have to take out this first army without cavalry as much as possible. We don't want to lose any cavalry because we're going to need the cavalry to take on their missile cav. Alright, looks like they're lined up on the hill here and they have they're actually pretty close to their reinforcements so we probably won't be able to take these guys out. 
right away, and I do want to conserve my cavalry as much as possible. So let's have them just march. And I want to try to get the high grounds if possible. Yeah, I don't want to engage with their their cav. I mean, they're with my cavalry taking on this army. Actually, I wonder if I can get him to chase this cab and get him to go down the hill. If I can get him to go down the hill and get my guys up the hill, that'll be a huge advantage for me. Let's get my cab down the hill. While I march my infantry and my archers up the hill, he can pursue my cavalry down the hill will have the uphill advantage. Yeah, come here. Just follow my general. You see my general. It's too tempting for you. You've got to take him, right? Right? You want to take my general. Come on after him. He's right here. He's right here for the taking. Come on. Take the bait. Take the bait. Yes, take the bait. Come down the hill. There's their militia cavalry. Take the bait. Let my guys, other guys, go up the hill. Just ignore these Prince of Base, okay? They're not here. Just focus on the general. You can get him. You can get him. Come on, he's right there in front. Come get him. I better go. <laughs> yeah. Good. I think uh, it's working. Uh, but they're reinforcements. Let's just go ahead and send a couple guys to charge. Yeah, he's coming after my... Yeah, you'll get hit my general. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure you'll be able to hit my general. Okay, watch out for those guys over there. There we go. Oh. There. Got him to rout. Okay, infantry. Just line up. Double time. Got him to rout without losing a single guy without even engaging in combat. That's nice. Alright, come on infantry. Come on missiles, double time. Let's just start firing. And get these guys. Just, uh, yeah, ignore those two guys. It's only three. You guys... Oh, that's their enemy general. We got him. What is going on? The enemy general is slain, and now he's oh man, you know that animation took so long, and they just let them kind of attack my general while that was happening. Weird. Get my general back. Get these cavalries to protect my flank. Okay. Yeah. These missile cav are gonna be annoying. But I got good archers. I wonder if these guys are fresh and these guys are winded if I could catch them. Let's go. I know I'm kind of leaving my right flank exposed, but I think it's okay. All right, their militia cav are running. These guys are winded. My guys are warmed up and fresh. I should be able to catch them. But they'll be way over there. It's okay. Okay. Let's get these guys back. Too 
hopefully I can attack these guys. Get these guys here, flanking them. Just get them back. Come on, get back. Oh, I might lose my calf. I can take their general. Uh, do I want to go general on general? No, 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 no. He's fresh and ready. Oh. Um, yeah. Gotta get him in there. Okay, got the enemy general. Good. And now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. And yeah, their missile cav is mostly routed. I gotta, I gotta press. Oh wow, their general's dead, but they haven't routed yet. Okay, they're wavering, wavering, broken. I gotta break this group before the missile cav rally. Okay, looks like they're missile cav. Where are these guys going? Get back up here on the hill. You guys go back. Yeah, so annoying. These missile auxiliary are really a pain if you don't have enough cavalry. Gotta get back, protect my archers. Wow, so I've got them like 83% killed, but I'm gonna have a real tough time chasing down these missiles. Um, hopefully if I just take out... Okay, they're routing. I don't know if I can get these guys to route as well. Okay, good. Alright, pretty good victory. Um, should wipe out both of these stacks. Nice. I uh, can get everybody back into the city. And let's uh, change this up a little bit. I need to retrain my make sure I get my equities first then get my ships and get another equities I've got to rebuild my cavalry before I take on Pontus that's gonna be a priority let's go back to the highest tax rate and same with here um, I gotta get more cav. Alright, let's get uh, uh, Opius over here into Segestica. And finally take out Segestica. I always assumed that the Julia or the Dacia would take it, but they've been rebels for a while. And, uh, you know, I was thinking they don't have a port, so they're not like valuable but they got a lot of resources so they actually might make me a lot of money especially if I build roads over here so let's go ahead and uh, do the ram thing it's just a wooden palisade so should be pretty easy to take out just uh, some Illyrian mercenaries and with that I'm gonna go ahead and end my turn I think I will get a cavalry auxilla here 
in my army. Oh, nice. I can get accretion archers here. So I'm definitely going to do that. Alright, let's go ahead and take Segestica. Alright, let's go ahead and begin. We got three rams. We're going to hit their walls and hit their gate. Let's go ahead and get our missiles as close as possible. I don't know if they'll be able to throw them over the walls. Let's have them double time. Get our hoplites marching forward as well. And followed up by our cab and war dogs. Alright, archers double time. Start firing as soon as possible. Let's go ahead and see if they can throw their missile, their, their javelins over the walls. They're backing off. Ram has broken through the gate. Let's wait till all the gates are broken. Before we march in. The have smiled on us today. The walls are broken. Our troops should be ordered forward. Get in there. Man, these guys. I'm gonna have some cav. Our soldiers have kept go around the, the flanks. Now is the time to send out the war dogs before I assault with anybody else. All right, war dogs are fighting. Alright, they did their job, now they're retreating, that's fine. Let's get our missile skirmishers to attack. And let's get our infantry to attack. And our cavalry to attack. Ah, we killed the enemy general. Let gods be praised. The enemy general is killed. Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts. Now we just need to take the square. Pretty good for a siege. Just 42 losses. Uh, do I want to just occupy it, or do I want to enslave them? I'm going to enslave them. I can't really retrain anybody. I'll send him out with a couple of horsemen to build. Just go and build uh, watchtowers. Uh, okay, you're too close to that guy. Let's build a watchtower. And he'll go over here and build one in this corner, too. Maybe one in the middle as well. All right, let's get Galerius to take on these rebels. Attack! Attack! All right, another easy victory. 29 kills. I mean, 29 dead to 960 kills. Pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to get Galerius over here to build a watchtower. And we're going to just march back and... Uh, 
Sit in Thessalonica for defensive purposes. We'll get another Prince of Pays. Just to keep an eye on Thrace and Dacia over here. We'll keep another garrison over here eventually in uh, Segestica. And I also am starting to build troops up in my capital in Tarentum. I don't know when the uh, Civil War will get triggered, uh, so I want to just start building up. We're doing pretty good in the uh, faction rankings. In fact, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, the graphs here. So the overall ranking, we are number one. We see the Scipii and the Juliar up there, as well as we just barely ticked past Egypt. And in military, we are a little bit behind um, the Scipii and the Juliai, as well as Egypt. Uh, but we're catching up. We're slowly rising. I'm going to continue to build military because we have a lot of money now. Production-wise, we are by far number one. We got Egypt here, and then of course the Julii and the Scipii. Territories, yeah, again, we're number one. The Julii and Scipii are lower. Actually, Scipii aren't even on this map. Britain is much better in territories. Egypt has a lot of territory, so we're gonna clash with Egypt. Um, it'll be a while. We're gonna deal with Pontus first. We're gonna take over Asia and deal with Pontus. Uh, that's going to be a pretty big battle. All right, finances. Yeah, we're finally got some money. Uh, we've taken over all of Greece, which is um, giving us a huge uh, financial uh, assistance. I don't know how the Julii have so much money. Uh, they, they're just over here in these barbarian territories. Uh, they're going to have to deal with uh, a very powerful Britain pretty soon. Population, yeah, we're we're second in population, and let's go ahead and take a look at what the Skippy are doing. They've taken Thapsis. They've got a little bit of rebel problems. I don't know what Numidia is doing. Uh, let's take a look at diplomacy, and we are not the Skippy is not at war with Numidia. Wonder if they're going headed towards Carthage. Yeah, they are at war with Carthage. Uh, but the Scipii have a huge army here. They're going to take Carthage. It's going to be a really nasty civil war, which is kind of what I was hoping for. We'll see. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll come to regret that decision <laughs> uh, later on. Um, but because we're taking out Asia, and we'll maybe get down here in Egypt, um, but we'll have a lot of wonders that will help us and we're already doing really well on finances so when it comes to the civil war i think we'll be okay and i want to let my other roman factions build up a little bit so i can have a little bit of a challenge uh but next episode i'm definitely gonna take the fight further into asia and go after pontus uh and we'll have to deal with their chariots as well as if you look at their general's bodyguards they have these missile bodyguards so these missile cavalry for bodyguards so they're fast and uh, very agile we'll have to uh, be careful against those guys all right and with that i'm going to go ahead and put a cut in it thank you for watching bye